Hey, what's up everyone? Neil here from Hustle with Social. I want to go over a quick method and tip to get more engagement on your page post. And what I mean by engagement is more likes, more shares, more comments, and the right way to do it. So I'm going to assume you already have a business page set up for your business. Hope you do. Um, if not, this is not going to work for you. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to talk about actually getting more page post engagement, likes, comments, uh, views, things of that nature. And this is a client site here, which I'm sure uh, they don't mind me using as an example. Jackson Leather Company has some great bags for men and women, some nice, really handmade leather bags. So check them out if you get a chance. So we've already had a post here that we want to get more engagement on this particular post right here. And we're not going to use the boost post button because it really doesn't do what you, what you probably would want it to do. Basically, if you say I want to boost a post, you can boost it for five bucks or ten bucks for the day. Um, Facebook's going to throw it out to a lot of people in a specific location unless you specify just based upon general interest, not interest that you want to target. So, say for instance. You want to target people that like leather bags or leather handmade bags or leather purses in this particular instance then we need to define that audience that we want to see this particular page post so i don't recommend doing boost posts let me show you a better way to do that what you're going to want to do is go over to your ads manager which is you know right under your facebook account Manage ads is going to bring you here to the ads manager. Um, Power Editor is what you're going to use. If you're not using Power Editor, I would recommend it. You have to for this method. And it's real simple. Just go to Facebook.com. Once you're logged in, forward slash ads, forward slash manage, forward slash Power Editor. And that's going to bring you up to the Power Editor here. And what you're going to want to do is hit download to power editor so you make sure all your posts and everything are downloaded into the power editor so you can actually edit from there so once that's done let's go ahead and create an ad so we're going to create a new campaign we're just going to name this one jackson new post and obviously we're going to have the objective as being page post engagement because because we want those you know new likes and shares and comments and video views or photo likes so we can get more engagement on that post and get it out to more people you're going to leave it at auction and you're going to give it an ad set name i'm just going to name it the same jackson new post create an ad name same jackson new post go ahead and click create once you do that you're going to want to click on that campaign you just started right here once and then hit edit. From there, you're going to give it a budget of what you want to spend per day. So I recommend starting all the ads off at $5. Do some split testing. That way you see what's working and then optimize from there. So we're just going to leave that at 5 bucks. And here's where we'll define our audience. So let's say we want to do United States. And our potential reach is 187 million people. So um, I'm going to add a few more countries here just to get a better reach over time. So let's add Canada. And, um, well, I think that's the only one I'm going to add for now. And in this particular instance, that's going to give us about a potential reach of 207,000, excuse me, million. I would, million people. That'd be awful if it was just 207,000 for both countries. And the demographic, you know, you should know the age of your customers, you know, what the, you know, Who's looking for your product? What age they are? And if you don't know, just try to take a guess. Again, split testing is very important. You need to test different audiences. You need to test different interests that they have in order to see what actually works. So in this instance, we're just going to say 20 euro to 35 euro. And the language, of course, if you're wanting people that speak English, to see your product or service, you're going to select English all. And for this 
instance, I'm going to put in a couple of interests that they may like based upon uh, my product or actually the client's product. Well, it'd be your product, but in this instance, the leather company product. So I'm going to put in Frank and Oak. I think that's one of them. Yeah. Clothing line. And let's try Banana Republic. It's going to give us some good reach. Um, Brooks Brothers and American Eagle Outfitters. And as you see here, guys, when you put in a page that's, you know, maybe similar to what you're selling or your industry or your product, Facebook's going to recommend some other pages or other interests that people like to get you in front of those folks that gives you a potential reach that is way better than just a general interest. And that's what you would get with just a boost post button on that page um, post that you did that I showed you earlier. So we're just plugging about four interests for now. You can do more, but I recommend keeping it small, keeping it tight, because you want to go, you know, wider, not deeper, as far as your uh, ads get, you know, getting displayed. And that still gives us a potential reach of 6,300,000 people. So we're going to hit save there. <clears throat> and then from there, we can select where we want this to show up. Always, 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 of course, keep mobile news feed checked. Um, desktop news feed as well. Desktop right column. Keep that checked because you're going to pay very, very little to have your ads displayed there. Um, so once we're done with that, <coughs> we can go ahead and click that away. Click it once more. Hit edit. And now we're going to actually select the post that I showed you earlier where they're running a Facebook fan special to welcome everyone to their page and their site. So we're going to choose the page and that'll be whatever page that you have that you're wanting to promote the page post from. Select the post. So Facebook fan special to welcome um, the fans to Jackson Leather Company. And I see they have a misspelling, so let me fix that before I do this. Okay, I think we're good now. Good deal. All right, so let's just select that post and it won't change here. I just made that edit real quick, but we're selecting the right post. <clears throat> and here, the changes that I made, a little misspellings are done. All right, so <clears throat> if you have a conversion pixel that you want to use to track you know, the visitors, you can do that. If not, create a pixel and follow the directions there on how to you know, set that pixel up on your website or have someone set it up for you. So that way you can optimize, retarget, and track who's clicking on that page post engagement. So once you've done that, it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Looks pretty much the same as the page post that you see here. And now, instead of getting only three people as a reach as of 35 minutes ago, you're going to see hundreds, if not thousands, of people get reached with this engagement. And as a result, you'll see likes, you'll see comments, you'll see page likes, and most of the time, if people like the content, they'll share it. So once you're done with that, you're all set. Just go ahead and hit Upload Changes and hit Continue. It's going to upload that ad set, and then Facebook is going to take probably 10 to 15 minutes to review the ad, which shouldn't be a problem. And then once that happens, the ad is live. And then go back to your business page, look at that page post over the next few hours, next couple of days, and you'll see that engagement definitely go up. So, all right, guys, hopefully this tip was very useful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, you can reach me at hustlewithsocial.com. Drop me a line in the contact page, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with your Facebook ads marketing. All right, take care. Have a great day. See you soon.